This theory explains the universe as a continuum, a continuous process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking. The driving force for this process is the spontaneous absorption and emission of light. This might sound odd, but if we look at these images from the International Space Station, we can see that the candle flame in near-zero gravity naturally forms a sphere. The candle flame is interacting with the environment on the two-dimensional surface of the sphere. Nothing has lower entropy or greater organization than a sphere, and when the spherical symmetry is broken, it forms the most beautiful of all geometrical shapes, the spiral. Therefore we see the Fibonacci spiral almost everywhere in nature, not because of economy of growth, but because of a process of symmetry forming and breaking. For it is madness to think that the geometry and diversity of cell life could form out of chaos and uncertainty. But it is logical that such geometry and diversity could form with the formation of chaos and uncertainty out of the freedom of a process of symmetry forming and breaking. To understand this further, we have to use the next diagram that shows how this spherical symmetry breaks, forming spiral symmetry that has line symmetry for the arrow of time. When the spherical symmetry is broken, it forms spiral symmetry in the form of the Raman surface rising up out of the complex plane, forming a spiral pattern. Euler's identity is at the heart of this process. The easiest way of looking at this is that the only number you could add to the number 1 to get 0 is minus 1 and this forms a rotation that breaks the spherical symmetry. Also in mathematics the imaginary number i is the square root of minus 1. There is no objective understanding to this. You could say that this is just the way mathematics is. But in this theory, the imaginary number i is the square root of minus 1 because it is part of a physical process linked to the square of probability. There will always be uncertainty at the quantum level and in our everyday life because the imaginary number i is the square root of minus 1 representing the rotational symmetry that maintains the probability function at t equals zero, the moment of now. It may seem at times that the theory is explaining the paradoxes of mathematics rather than the mathematics explaining the theory. This is because human mathematics is based on the dynamic geometry of this theory. This can be seen in the way Euler's identity and imaginary numbers are part of the theory. At each rotation of the origin, 2 pi, cylindrical symmetry has to be added, and we find ourselves on another sheet of the complex plane. This spiral symmetry forms line symmetry, representing the timeline, or arrow of time. The entire spiral pattern is equivalent to a sphere, 4 pi, with a single minimum dynamic origin, formed by spherical symmetry. When the spherical symmetry is broken, it forms the imperfect spiral symmetry of life that is visible in nature. This is because if the quantum wave particle function or probability function is reformulated as a linear vector, then all the information I can find says that each new vector is formed by adding the two previous vectors together. This forms the Fibonacci sequence. In this theory, we have the Fibonacci numbers in nature, not because of economy of growth or space, but because time and space is being formed by the geometry and therefore the mathematics of this dynamic process. As can be seen on the diagram, we already have zero, representing the moment of now, time equals zero, with positive one and minus one, representing the positive and negative of electromagnetic waves. Therefore, we even have the start of the Fibonacci sequence in the diagram. This is linked to Euler's identity, giving this beautiful equation a place in the structure of space and time. If our eyes were more sensitive to the light, we would be able to see that everything is radiating electromagnetic radiation 
or light continuously. This is because the universe is never at absolute zero. Light has momentum, and momentum is frame dependent, so we have a process that forms an infinite number of reference frames that are continuously coming in and out of existence. Each reference frame has its own timeline from the past into the future, with the future unfolding light photon by light photon, with each new photon oscillation or vibration. One of the great problems in understanding the nature of reality is understanding consciousness and how the concept of mind interacts with the objective world of our everyday life. This theory gets around this problem by explaining consciousness as electrical activity that is aware of its own electrical potential. This is possible because the light photon is the carrier of the electromagnetic force. Therefore electrical activity in the brain is always in the center of its own reference frame in the moment of now with a potential future that is always uncertain with a past that has gone forever as part of this continuous energy exchange forming the ever-changing world of our everyday life. It is because consciousness is always in the center of its own reference frame that we have the concept of mind with each one of us having our own personal view of the universe. There are no paradoxes in this theory. We are in the center of our own reference frame being able to look back in time in every direction at the beauty of the stars. We can also look down into individual reference frames seeing the future unfolding photon by photon relative to the energy and momentum of that reference frame. The greatest effect this process of continuous energy exchange has on us is the aging process with photon energy from the Sun cascading down forming greater degrees of freedom for the continuous increase in entropy or disorganization. But above all, this is a creative process with the future coming into existence relative to the energy and momentum or actions of each individual life form. I believe this is what we are seeing when we see an artist at work. We are seeing the future unfolding relative to the energy and momentum of the artist. This creativity is innate within the process itself. I believe the day will come when this theory will be seen as the physics of time, as a physical process, with the mathematics of quantum mechanics representing the dynamic geometry of a physical process that we see and feel as a continuum of time, with classical physics representing processes over a period of time, as in Newton's differential equations. Our future is always uncertain because of a continuous interaction or absorption emission of light, the future is unfolding with each new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment forming the probability function or quantum wave particle function that is explained mathematically by Schrodinger's wave equation. At the smallest level of this process this uncertainty is seen as Heisenberg's uncertainty principle with the Planck constant being a constant of action in the dynamics of space and time. Please subscribe on YouTube and be part of the promotion of this theory.